the fields in Yorkshire and it's a wet and wild morning however we're prepared for anything and you can see Twiggy and Mr Orcas over there having a little man chat and uh, I'm here trying to find some treasure. Now, this is my wet and wild Yorkshire look it's quite good isn't it I've had to give Twiggy my hat so Twiggy's got a furry hat on at the minute because um, his ears was getting cold with the wind so I'm really liking this now. I think I'm going to find some sacks and treasure. <laughs> and I'm going to say, yeah, sacks and treasure. Or a little ring and I'll put it on and I'll be able to have a sacks and ring, won't I? But Roman coin will do. I'm not, you know, I'm not greedy. Roman coin, anything like that. So I'm just getting on now. The wind's dropping a little bit. So I'll just have to make a video when the wind's dropped. So that's like now. So, okay. See you in a bit when I've got some treasure. Is that it? That was a Roman ear trumpet. Roman trumpet? Yeah, ear trumpet. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, it's a Roman ear trumpet. It's yeah. worth a lot of money, is that? Yeah. <laughs> Triggy knows that, he's deaf. What? Please don't be that, please don't be that. Well, I think... Um, nah. It's a Roman trumpet, though. We need to though. find you an old Roman sat -nav after your after your trials this morning. <laughs> no. I had a really good sound before and I thought, this is it, I've got it. And it was that, a Roman trumpet. Be made out of lead, and um, ooh, I think Twiggy needs that because he's a bit deaf. I don't want to shout him anyway. He doesn't seem to hear me when I want something. Just ignores me, eh? But yeah, Roman trumpet made out of lead. Big bit of lead that. I think it's probably the biggest bit of lead I've ever found. Yeah, good bit of lead. Oh, I like your hat, Twiggy. Where you get that from? It's great digging in this soft soil, isn't it? I like your hat. It's very glamorous. Now you look like you're digging. Hey, I am. And there he is, look! We've done it! It's just video standoff! <laughs> Come on, quick fire! <laughs> what a nice man, Stephen Hawker is. He's a really nice man. He's really, really nice. We were going to meet him this morning at 9 o'clock. We've never been out that early before. We usually uh, just try to spin around trying to get out of the wind, so I apologise if there's some wind. Um, but, um, we meet him at 9 o'clock, so we set off, we said we was about 20 seconds away. We drove all the way round Filey, round the seafront, round the streets, all the way up, got lost, went round again, round another bit, and ended up exactly back as where we'd set off. But, I've got to say, I was driving, and Twiggy was the one with the sat-nav. So, I can't really blame myself. I'm not blaming myself for that, because it, Twiggy had the sat-nav. Um, but anyway, the wind's not too bad round here. I've just found two bits of lead. Stephen's not found anything yet with his dais. Um, he just said it's full of bits of rubbish, but this is untouched field, so my idea is that, w that somewhere there'll be a path where Romans or Saxons have walked across here. So I've just got to find where it is, and then I can dig up the stuff. Yes, 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 yes. Stephen set the challenge of the day, and the challenge of the day is that whoever gets a coin first gets a bit of cake. Oh, it's got to be me. I want a big bit of lemon drizzle cake. I think that's what it is today. Twiggy's up there. I think we found out! Half an horseshoe. So we found a full horseshoe and half an horseshoe now. Well done, Twiggy! Hey, what have you got there, Twiggy? Oh, look. You've got a Roman uh, drink lid. Must be the only one in the field. Well done. I'm going to... Twiggy. Yeah, you look a bit like a Russian. Yeah. There's me laughing at Twiggy and look what I found. Medieval Coke can in this massive field. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Medieval Coke my can. My eyes are all black because my eyes have been watering. I've had hair stuck in my face and everything. But I found my first coin. Do you want to see it? Do you want to see the first coin? Here it comes. Here it comes. Eee, guess what it is? I'll tell you what it is. It's rotted. <laughs> Stephen found one before he's found a, 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 a Victoria... Um, I apony, like I found last week. We can read these, but look at mine. Look, rotted. What do you expect? Rotted. But then I was coming along again, and it wasn't that far away from where I just dug, and I found this. Oh! 
I thought when it coming out, bit of silver in the hole, that's what I thought, and then I turned it over. And it's got a bit on the back, so that means it's a button, but that's the best button I've ever had. That's a nice button, that, isn't it? It's not got anything on it, but it's a nice big button with a bit button bit on the back. So I'm quite pleased with my button. I wonder what Stephen's found, because he's been over there for ages. So I'm going to go and speak to him in a minute and see how he's doing. How are you doing, Twiggy? Have you found out yet? Moonwalking, detecting. Moonwalking. Hey, he, he come out with a quite a good funny thing before. I got a sound that was the same as gold. Uh, so I got dead excited, jumped down and dug it. And I found it was this. A packet of crisps. And he did say, perhaps the golden wonder. <laughs> golden wonder. It's quite funny really that. But it was a packet of crisps sort of thing. I've put it in my bag though. <laughs> doing it again. Filming me, filming, filming me, filming you, filming me. Have you found anything then yet? Me. Have you found anything? To you. Do you want to show me, show me my finds? Okay. Cool. Gonna show me what you got. Round in the hole. But, unfortunately, like normal, it's rotted. Oh, yeah. So, can't even tell what it is at all. That's Just awful. rotted. But, anyway, so and another exciting. Two points between us. I've got that then. Oh. Oh, you thought the same as I did, didn't you? I thought that was a bit of silver when it came oh. out. Then I turned it over and it's yeah. got a blobby bit on the back. Yeah. But I was quite excited. Blobby bit. Yeah, blobby bit there. But when it came out, I was dead excited about yeah, that. I know. You can imagine, can't you? There's not many finds coming off here, is there? It's not, is there? But it is a big area. I mean, we've never done nothing like this before. Well, I'm not even sure it's worth staying on here, to tell you the truth. Are you not? Yeah. It's too quiet for me. Is it? Twiggy's not found anything. I've had some lemon cake before. It was lovely. Like he promised, he said he'd bring us some. It was that it had all lemon cream in the middle of it and mmm, nom nom I've been out ages now, but I'm starving. And I get back, he might say, oh, I've got a bit of lemon cake left, you want some? And I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Having a new some. feel, this is a bit of a Saxon field again. So, uh, Stephen says well, no one's been in here again, but it's first in, we've only just come in the gate there. Look, what have you got? Rubbish. Oh, well, it's summer straight away, isn't it? What is it, you think? Uh, probably a Saxon. <laughs> necklace. Saxon necklace, yeah, that's what I thought it was as well. Well done. Remember, I want one of them uh, things with the red things in, you know, them red stones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll find you one. What have you got? A Coke can? What's that? What is it? What is it? Uh -huh. Roman spits. Oh, no, I don't know what it is. Looks right, like Twiggy, what have you got again? Another horseshoe. So how many horseshoes you had now? Two and a half. So two and a half and a ring, which I don't want for Christmas. Um, that should mean that you should be finding something good by now. Shouldn't you? <laughs> it's funny this. I'm being filmed by them doing filming. He's lucky can I now. Right. <laughs> so you've got what a lucky arse you? Oh look, there's somebody lucky behind you. <laughs> Stephen, what have you just found? Because you just found something interesting, didn't you? Yeah, I get the right way up. There we go, a little gilded. Yeah, little Popeye button, it's got like a little anchor on it. It's Popeye nice, that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, what do you think that's off the, uh, out of the navy or something? I don't know, maybe Olive Oil was wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's know. nice, that. Yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah. Cool. I've been in a few fields now and uh, I still haven't found much. I found it. In fact, I'll show it you, I'll just get it out of my pocket and go, I'll just show you. The... I found that. Well, I don't know what it is. I think it's just uh, like a little ring thing. But my best find, you might not. Oh, I don't say I've lost it. But, oh, here it is. Are you ready? I like this one. This is what. And it's a. It's a D for Dawn. I found a D for Dawn buckle. Steve has done quite well. He's got a couple of coins. Can't read them. Um, and he's found. He's found now. Five musket balls or little bullets are all different sizes. And I want one of them now. I want to find one of those. Twiggy's desperate just to find anything apart from horseshoes. Because he's found an horseshoe. And he's found a ring as well. But I, I don't think it's golden. So anyway, I've told him I'm not having it for Christmas. I'm not giving me that for Christmas. Walking over now, it looks like he's found something of interest. No, I haven't. <laughs> no, you haven't? Oh, wait, I'm stuck on my headphones. I've only got a button. Oh yeah. Well, this is what I tell you something. Don't tell Twiggy. Right. I'm finding all my stuff by following him around. <laughs> I go where he's been, and I'm finding stuff. Aww. A little musket ball, now a button. 
Yeah, Is that that's a Could block. be a coin it's next. Oh, yeah, he's got a blobby bit on the back. Do you want to get your shoes? I've just been telling people about your, bu- your, your, bu- your, your balls. <laughs> Do you want to see my balls? Yeah. Can you get your balls out on camera for us? Oh, it's quite nice, that. It's not as nice as your... Um... Well, that's meant to be part of my gold dance, you realise. Oh, right. Uh, that is, will also be something to watch. Does people know what it is? What, my gold dance? Yeah. Only a few. Well, I'm not going to spoil the fun, because but just let's hope you... Stephen Hawkers finds gold soon, because that gold will coin. be memorable. I've already found gold rings. I don't do it for gold, gold rings. I only do it for gold coins. Ah. Oh, I've lost some balls. You've lost them? Well, I thought well, I had more a... than that. Like... Oh, look, you see, he's got some interesting finds there. Yeah, just keep following. That looks like a, an alligator head on a camera. Does it? You found that on a Saxon mount. Oh, yeah, you found it on a Saxon mount. Lots of people can borrow your metal detector. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I believe I'm just stupid. I'm saying. <laughs> so, yeah, so is just, that what you're just doing, following him around I'm just then? Just following Twiggy around and digging stuff up your <laughs> Go on then, keep going. So I'm, I'm just digging this hole. I mean, these I've never been on a field like this before and that. Um, and the, the soil's dead easy to dig. I don't even need my swordy spade to dig dig stuff with it. Um, so anyway, this has got a good sound, so I hope it's a bullet. Although, if it is a bullet, I'm going to give it Twiggy because it's a man thing, a bullet, isn't it? I, I'm not really that bothered about bullets. I like glamorous things like rings and that. So um, let's see if I've got a confined. Just I don't use it. I don't usually say hi to people. I know I, I say that, but I have done for a few times. But um, if there's anybody that's um, young, quite young and that, who's interested in metal detecting, I'll always say hi to you. Just let me know. Anyway, Ruby. Bit and William, I want to say hello to you because your dad found a sovereign, didn't he? Didn't he do well? So I want you to go out with your dad and you can find some gold as well. So hello, William and Ruby. Nice to see you. It's been a nice day out today now. Got a bit of blue sky there now as appearing. I really enjoyed it. It started off, it was wild this morning at nine o'clock with the rain and that. I've had to give Twiggy my hat and his, his head's been that warm. I've not had the heart to take it off him again. Anyway, he's there. He's still desperately trying to find something with his uh, thing. But he knows now in reality that he, now he's serious. He needs a day. Or so. I bet he has one in two weeks. <laughs> Stephen's over there. He did a little dance before when he thought my camera was running, but I didn't have it on. <laughs> hey! <laughs> but he's found quite a lot of things. He found a silver sixpence. I um, think it's George's six what he's found. He's got like, about ten bullets. Well, no, it's about five. I don't know. You know I always get numbers wrong. Um, oh, wait, he's got some at there. Good, let's go over it. Let's have a bit of a live diggity dig dig dig. Stephen Arker style. Diggity dig dig dig! Come on, let's have a bit of a live diggity dig 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 while the wind's down. Look at how neat that all is. I've got a long way to go on now. Ooh, what do you think it is? Rubbish. Been digging rubbish all day. Well, but you haven't really, because you've got a silver sixpence I've and got some the bullets, haven't oh, you? Look, I can just see the edge of a bit of iron there. Oh. Yeah. It's a lump of iron. Oh, never mind. Now I have a policy. If I dig it up, I pick it up. Right. I ain't digging it up. Leaving well, it do in. you know what? I'm glad you've said that because that's what we do. Because sometimes it looks that big that it looks like it'd be a trauma to dig it up and then a trauma to carry it around. Yeah, if you've got a really big piece of deep iron, yeah. just leave it in. But most of the stuff, well, I say we, I mean Twiggy. Because I dig it up and stick it in his backpack. I'm not stupid, am I? <laughs> What have you got? A bit of Roman? Very carefully, very carefully detailed that. I don't know what it is, but I'm thinking it's something special. Oh, everything you get is special, Twiggy. Including, <laughs> including chicken box. <laughs> bit of detail on it. You think it's detailed? It's got the same, it's got the same holy thing. And You're talking her language now. <laughs> Holy thing. We've only been doing it three months and we don't know all the technical jargon. <laughs> Holy yeah, thing. No, we know this is the... Okay, well, I, I think it's copper. It's definitely copper. It was yeah. a good, what do you think? It's got a pattern on it. 
I'll have to I wash can't. it. No, I, I don't can't say it's got a pattern on no, it. It's I can't been see very pattern. carefully worked. Yeah, the edges. Oh. Oh, you mean so because they've put that much effort in, it might be something good. And with a funny shape holy thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think oh, I'm glad this silly talks on your video. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. In the Roman thing, it like it. Hey, so you might have got some at Roman then? Just put it in my backpack, will you? Ah, it's been nice for Twiggy to have a man to talk to instead of just me. With my darn language. Wish you'd have found something. Found it's time yet, we've got to walk back. You know what it's like. You spend all day looking. Last dig of the day, there it is, gold coin. Oh, and the sun's coming out at last. I was frozen this morning, frozen stiff. Find of the day by Stephen Harker. Surprise, surprise. And it's that. This is, look, just looks like a fork. But the camera on me, not the fork. Oh, right, there you go. But the <laughs> and it just looks like a fork, but on closer inspection, it's got um, a hallmark. So that's a solid silver fork. That's great, that is. That's, That's really, fun. really good. Really impressed. Oh, here comes a farmer. You better quick, get it in your backpack. In your backpack <laughs> <laughs> That's a top find, that. Well done. Yeah, happy with that. Yeah. Happy with that. <laughs> yeah, I've got my hat back on now. Sun's out, lovely blue sky. Wind seems to have chilled, out, gone down. Still that found now, but, but uh, I've had a really good day going over all these fields, been in pasture been in drilled things, been in uh, all sorts of things that I've never done before. It's been grill brilliant. Hey. Oh, it's had a bit of an AA going on. Catwheel penny. Catwheel penny. Oh, top stuff. Cat oh, they're great, aren't they? Massive, them. Yeah, one ounce of copper. Yeah, I've, I've, have you ever found the two? The I haven't, no. I wish I'm, I had. I'm after the two, Mick. I've heard that's a bit of a weapon where you can uh, throw it at people and knock them out with it. I've never found Fabulous. a good one of these either. They've always been poor. Yeah, mine's been a bit rotted. Hey, that's well done. That's good, that catwheel penny. <laughs> catwheel penny. <laughs> catwheel penny. Twiggy's got catwheel penny. One ounce of copper. You walked right over it again, Twig. This blooming great corn, you walked over it. Aww. Do you feel sorry for it? Yeah. Yeah. I won't feel sorry for him when he's got a dais though. No, no. When he's uh, saying to me, look what I've found every two minutes, well, I've got nothing. <laughs> right. I've got my hat back on now, look, oh, I'm back yeah. to normal. His head's too hot for it now, and the oh. sun's come out. Hiya, we're back from Yorkshire now. We had a really, really good day. I know the weather was like insane because we set off and it was like proper wind and I've never seen wind and rain like it. I didn't even know if we were going to be able to do anything at all but we did and as the day went on the sun came out and it was lovely and you know we found some interesting stuff we went on different things that we'd never been on but you know like ploughed fields and it was just a great experience and Stephen Harker what a genuinely lovely man he is um, so if you want to check him out check him out Stephen Harker man with the hat YouTube channel Everything he does is for charity, you know, if you, you subscribe to him, you're really, really helping out. Um, and you can also subscribe to our channel as well, Digger Dawn, if you want to, uh, and I appreciate it. Anyway, back to the finds. Um, now, when you noticed on the video, I thought I'd found a Roman trumpet, which was here, right? And I could see, I was thinking, ooh, Roman trumpet. And then I found another one, and I thought, oh, we've got two Roman trumpets. I thought, I thought we're people, they're all deaf in Yorkshire. And then the penny dropped. Oh, Yorkshire, Yorkshire. Now, in America, you know that us English people like a nice cup of tea. Well, it's Yorkshire tea. It's, I think Yorkshire people invented it. And then it came to me. I've got two teapot spouts. So, I don't know what they're made out. I think that one's made out of copper. And I think that one must be made out of pewter. I thought it was lead at first, but you'd have to be a bit mad to have a lead teapot, wouldn't you? Because you don't think you'd live very long. So, I think that's what they are. A cup of Yorkshire teapots. Um, other things that I found, as I showed you, nice little D for dog. I don't know which way it goes round, is it that way or that way? Ah, look, dig a darn for a nice D. And then I found my first um, little bird leg ring. Can you see it? There, it says on it GB77, so I'm assuming that's 1977, and it's got a number on it. 18767, so I'm sure that's the bird number, and I, I think there's some way you can go online and have a look about what little birdie that belonged to. Um, other things that I found that was interesting 
just a stick of lead. Now it weighs a ton, doesn't seem to be anything, it just seems to be a stick of lead. So um, that's that. And then I found that interesting thing, it seems to have like um, some spokes in it. I, I don't I think that could be a Roman brooch. I'm not sure about that, you know. Do you think it might be a Roman brooch? And then Twiggy's ring, which just fits me nice, look. Fits me nice there, but I don't want that for Christmas. It's not made out of anything precious. And then last but not least of our interesting finds was this. I know it's not metal, and at first I thought it was a fossil. Look at it. Do you know what it is? Can you guess? Apparently it's a horse tooth. A fossilised horse tooth. So, um, isn't that funny? That must be something grand grass and that. Anyway. That's it, it was a fabulous day. I hope it can invite us over again and I hope that it will come over to us as well. Can so, you dig it? See you next week. Bye!